Please, Byron. What'd you say? I said stop punching that machine. Stop? Yes. Can't you stop? Hey, Joe, give me a hand. He can't stop. Well, what's the idea? Can you let me alone? How long have you been here? Just 25 years, 300 months, 9,131 hours. Oh, that's all that's good. Never missed a day, not an hour, not a minute. <laughs> Look at all I got done. Yeah. Time to quit. Quit? What do you mean, quit? I ain't gonna quit. Well, it's time for you to go back. Go back where? What are you talking back about? Back to Earth. What do you think, you dumb? <laughs> go on, Cap. Who are you kidding? I'm not kidding anybody. And don't call me Cap. I'm a lieutenant. <laughs> all right, all right, lieutenant. What's this you're trying to tell me about going back? The time's up, I'm telling you. You must be pretty thick. How many times do you want to be told the thing? It's the first time I ever heard about going back. No one ever said nothing about it before. Well, you didn't think you were going to stay here forever, did you? <laughs> sure, why not? I did my bit, didn't I? 45 years of it. 45 years in the store. Then the boss canned me and I knocked him cold. I guess you didn't hear I about that. I know all about that, but what's that going to do? Well, I did my bit, didn't I? That ought to let me out. So, you think you're all through, do you? Sure. I did the best I could while I was there. Then I passed out. Now I'm sitting pretty here. <laughs> you get a fine idea how they run things you have. <laughs> you think they're going to go through all the trouble of making a soul just to use it once? <laughs> Once is often enough, it seems to me. Oh, it seems to you, don't it? Well, who are you? And what do you know about it? Why, me? They use the soul over and over again, over and over, till it's worn out. Nobody ever told me. <laughs> so you thought you were all through. <laughs> That's a hot one. <laughs> How was that to know? Oh, you look at your brains! Where would we put them all? We're crowded enough here as it is. Oh, man, this is nothing but a kind of repair and service station. Sort of a, a cosmic laundry, you might say. <laughs> we get the souls in here by the bushel full. And then we get busy and clean them up. And you should see some. The muck, the slime. <laughs> it's full of holes in the flower sifter. And we fix them up. We we disinfect them and give them a kerosene rub, mend the holes, and back they go. Practically as good as new. <laughs> you mean to say I've been here before? <laughs> before the last time? You mean? I've been here before. <laughs> you poor fool. You've been here thousands of times. Fifty thousand at least. How is it I don't remember anything about it? Oh, that's partly because you're stupid. <laughs> <laughs> it's mostly because that's how they got it fixed. <laughs> They're funny like that. Every once in a while they'll do something white like that, just when you least expect it. <laughs> but I suppose economy's at the bottom of it. They figured the souls would get worn out quicker if they remembered. And can't any of them remember? Mm. Yeah, you see, there's different types. The detective uh, gets a little better each time it goes back. We just give him a walk and send him right through. Then there's the other type. Type that gets uh, a little worse each time it goes back. That's where you go. Me? Yes. You mean I'm getting worse all the time? Yeah, a little worse each time. What was I when I started? Something big? A king or something? <laughs> a king. Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> I'll tell you what you were the first time since you want to know so much. A monkey. <laughs> a monkey? Yeah, just a, a hairy, long-tailed, chatty monkey. <laughs> that must have been a long time ago. Oh, not so long. A million years ago. Seems like yesterday to me. <laughs> And then, what is this you're trying to tell me about getting worse all the time? Just what I said. You weren't so bad as a monkey. <laughs> you just did what all the other monkeys did, but 
Helped you out in the open air. And you weren't woman shy. They were just women who let her this month. Yes, sir. You weren't so bad then. <laughs> but even in those days, there must have been some bigger and brainier monkey that you cow cow to. The mark of the slave's been on you from the start. You ain't very particular about what you call people, are you? You want the truth, didn't you? But all the bosses and all the kings that ever were have put their trademarks on your backside. It ain't fair, if you ask me. Oh, don't tell me about it. I don't make the rules. All I know is you've been getting worse. A little worse each time. But even 6,000 years ago, you weren't so good. That was the time you were hauling stones for one of those big pyramids in a place they call Africa. Did you ever hear of the pyramids? Some big pointy things. <laughs> yeah, I saw a picture of them in the movie. Yeah, well, you helped build them. Of course, it was a long way down from the happy days of the jungle, but it was a good job. Even though you didn't know what you were doing, and the back was striped by the foreman's whip. But you've been going down, down. Well, about uh, 2,000 years ago, you were uh, a Roman gallon slave. You were one of the, uh, you were one of the triremes that knocked the Carthaginian fleet for a goal. Get the whip, but you had muscles and chest muscles, back muscles, biceps. Ah, two, bunch of mush. Another thousand years, you were a surf, a lump of clay, digging up other lumps of clay. You wore an iron collar that white ones hadn't been invented yet. <laughs> <laughs> Another long step down. But we used a uh, potato food that helped us out in the case, which was something. And now, well, I don't like to rub it in. Rub it in is right. It seems to me I got a pretty healthy kick coming. I ain't had a square deal. Hard work is all I ever had. What else do you have the good for? But that ain't the point. The point is I'm through. I had enough. Let them find somebody else to do the dirty work. I'm tired of being in the boat. I quit. Right here. And now. <laughs> what was that? Nothing. Don't worry. Nobody's gonna hurt you. It's just their way of telling you they don't want you talking like that. <laughs> Pull yourself together and calm down. You can't change the rules. No one can. They get it all fixed. Why can't they let me alone? I'm satisfied here doing my day's work. I don't want to go back. <laughs> got to, I tell you, there's no way out of it. What chance have I got at my age? Who'll give me a job? <laughs> oh, you poor fool. You don't think you're going back the way you are? Sure. How then? <laughs> you got to start all over. All over? Oh, you'll be a baby again. <laughs> oh, red faced little animal. <laughs> then you got to do it all again. Yeah, there'll be millions of others like you. Oh, with their mouths open, squalling for food. Then, when you get a little older, you, you begin to learn things. And you learn all the wrong things. You learn them in the wrong way. You eat the wrong food. Wear the wrong clothes. You live in swarming dens where there's no light, no air. You learn to be a liar and a bully and a bride and a coward and a sneak. You learn to fear the sunlight, hate beauty. Then you get ready for school. 
<laughs> there they're telling the truth about a great many things that you don't give a damn about. <laughs> they'll tell you lies about all the things you ought to know. And all the things you want to know about, they'll tell you nothing at all. <laughs> when you're through there, you'll be equipped for your life work. You'll be ready to pick it up. What will my job be? Another ad machine? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, but not like, not like one of these antiquated ad machines, no. This will be a superb, super hyper ad machine, far from this old piece of junk as you are from God. This will be something to make you sit up and take notice, that ad machine. It will be an ad machine which will be installed in a coal mine and which will record the individual output of each mine. As each miner, down in the lower galleries, takes up his shovel full of coal, the impact of his shovel will automatically set in motion a graphite pencil in your cap. The pencil will make a, a mark in white upon a black and sensitized drum. But this is where your work comes in. With a great toe in your right foot, you will release a lever which focuses a violet ray upon the drum. The ray, playing upon and through the white mark, falls upon a selenium cell, which in turn sets the keys of the adding apparatus in motion. In this way, the individual output of each minor will be recorded without any human effort except the slight pressure of the great tone on your right foot. <laughs> <laughs> Say, that would be some machine. Oh, some machine. Right. It would be the culmination of human effort. The final triumph for the evolutionary process. For millions of years, the nebulous gases swirled in space. For more millions of years, the gases cooled, and then they hardened into rocks, and then came life. Floating green things on the, on the waters that covered the earth. More millions of years, and a step up, an animate organism in the ancient slime. And so, step by step down through the ages again, here again, there, the mollusk, the fish, the reptile, the mammal, man. Also that you might sit in the gallery of coal mine and operate the super hyper ad machine with the great toe in your right foot. <laughs> well, I ain't so bad after all. You feel it. A thing. Waste product is slave to a contraption of steel and iron. The animal's instincts, but not his strength and skill. The animal's appetite, but not his shameless indulgence of them. <sighs> True. You move, you eat, you digest, and excrete, and reproduce. <laughs> like the smallest microscopic organism can do as much. Time's up. Back we go. Back to your subtle screws. The raw material slums and pores. The ready prey of the first jingo or demagogue, a political adventurer who takes the trouble to play on your ignorance and credulity and provincialism. Ah, you poor spineless, brainless boob. I'm sorry for it. Then keep me here. Don't send me back. Let me stay. Get up! Didn't I tell you I can't do anything for you? Come on, time's up! I can't. I can't. I, I'm afraid to start all over again. <laughs> you got to wait. Tell me, come on now! What did you tell me so much for? Couldn't you just let me go back? Thinking everything would be all right? <laughs> you wanted to know, didn't you? I didn't know you were going to tell me so much. <laughs> now I can't stop thinking about it. I can't stop thinking. I'll be thinking about it all the time. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
I'll do the best I can, Miss Lord. I'll send a girl with you to keep you company. A girl? What for? What good will a girl do me? She'll help make you forget. <laughs> she will? Where is she? Wait a minute, I'll call her. Oh, help, you ho <laughs> Bitch! Uh, come here, would you? There's a fella here who'd like you to take him back. All right, I'll be there in a minute, Charlie dear. <laughs> She's uh, kind of familiar, isn't she? Charlie dear. <laughs> what did you say your name was? Hope. H O. E. Is she good looking? Oh, is she good looking? Oh boy, where do you see her? She's, she's a blonde with big blue eyes and red lips and little white teeth. Say, that listens good to me. Will she be long? Oh, she'll be right here. There she is now. Do you see her? No, where? Out in the corner. No, not there. Over, Father, to the right. Oh, don't you see her blue dress and the sunlight on her hair? <laughs> yeah. Sure, I see her now. What's the matter with me, anyhow? Gee, she's some Jane. <laughs> oh, you baby vamp. She'll make you forget your troubles. <laughs> what troubles are you talking about? <laughs> Nothing. Then, go on, don't keep her waiting. You bet I won't. Oh, Hope, wait for me. I'll be right there. I'm on my way. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell's the matter with you? Yeah, did you get that? He thinks he's stopped someone and he's following her. Shut your face! What's the idea? Can't I even laugh if I see something funny? Funny! You keep your mouth shut or I will show you something funny. Now go on, that's a lot of you get to clean up this mess with. There's another fella moving right in. Hurry now! Thank <laughs> you.